Amit here from TV Show How. I have with me Celia Gates uh, from England, author, entrepreneur, and inventor. Celia, go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Hi, Amit. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I think you just did a pretty good job there. Um, yes, I wrote a book from Brainwave to Business, and now I'm in the process of organizing the global brainstorm and really helping other people to overcome their challenges, their hurdles, problems, whatever it might be, by thinking literally and laterally, by embracing that holistic brain so that they really do start to generate those sparks of genius, those innovation, inspiration moments. Now you came up with that and it's pretty much the way you think. You're a very creative person and you won an award for that. I know you didn't want to mention that, but tell me a little bit about your award that you won in England. Uh, I was the British Consumer Inventor of the Year in 2004. I guess that was one of the first uh, International Innovation Awards I've won. I've since been recognized for my contribution to renewable energy and all sorts of different things like that. And um, really last year I published the system that I've used most of my life to generate these award-winning ideas. And I call the system the weather forecast, um, literally because it helps you to decide whether to do one thing, whether to do another, or whether to do something completely different. And um, since publishing it, I've just been blown away by the results that it's been producing for other people. So I'm thrilled about it. I've tried it myself, but before I talk about that, I wanted to talk about who or what is the biggest hurdle stopping someone from doing the weather forecast and how can we try to help them overcome it? Well, I guess the hurdle is basically their mindset and the weather forecast is there to help them overcome it in the first place. You know, I often hear people sort of say, oh gosh, I really just can't think like you do and things like that. And, and it's actually that barrier in itself. As soon as you're telling yourself you can't do something, you can't achieve something, or you can't think in a certain way, well, actually, then, I mean, you know that that's exactly what materializes. So it's maintaining that open mind, just, just wide enough, just that fraction wide enough to allow you just to experiment with the weather forecast way of working and to see how you two are capable of creating those sparks of genius. Now, I did the weather forecast, and I'm actually... Uh, I was going to put it at the end, but I'm going to insert it right here just so our viewer and your viewer who's watching this gets to see how a first timer does it. I wasn't trained. I went in. I did it myself. So I'll insert it here, and that's how I'm going to demonstrate it. It's really a wonderful process. You're going to like the demo. Okay, so uh, you entered the globalbrainstorm.com, and you arrive here, um, and you can go up and down that page, read it, and then you're going to click on this button. And of course, Celia will come on and she'll tell us to click here in the but box. I'm, I'm delighted that you've decided to join the Global Brainstorm. You're making some great decisions already. And I so I'm going to put her on hold here. I have another tab already open, you know, with the, with the email in it. And then you come in here, and what she will be discussing is how the... Uh, Global Brainstorm works in this video. I really like it. You should watch it. And she does it very high speed. And then you would, of course, click on the uh, I Know How or button on the bottom. And then you get this uh, area here. And the, uh, the result. She goes through and explains uh, all of the uh, layout of how this idea works. Of, uh, Think about your physical constraint. And I'm actually going through the, the long version. Things that you perhaps influence yourself. This is 35 minutes. She talks, about, she talks about weather forecasts where you have wind, you have uh, sunshine, you have uh, good weather, you have uh, effects of, uh, of local uh, environment, you have rainbow, you have things that go right. So it's fabulous. Well, the end result, after you're done filling it all out, and I actually didn't want to take 35 minutes to do it here, so uh, she goes step by step, jogs your memory of, you know, what she's going through right away. So 
here's what mine looks like after I went through it once only. And I went through the, the short 15 minute version. Okay, so uh, here's a picture of uh, the brainstorm. Um, I'm only showing it for illustration. It really is much nicer in there. And, then, and I'm going to take it back inside the rest of the conversation. Now, reasons why we should do this. I mean, if I'm the owner of a company or the HR manager and our company, well, I'm going to let you tell me the reasons why we should do this. Okay, well, the reasons are pretty plentiful, to be fair. Um, basically, our mind, our imagination is infinite. You know, neuroscientists, people currently studying the brain, they often parallel it to studying the universe. We don't really know what the limits of our brain actually are at this stage. All we know is we're not using enough of it. So there, harbored in the heads of everyone that exists around you, is so much more potential than you're perhaps currently capitalizing on. So by embracing this way of thinking that really asks you to engage a more holistic brain, to look at your situation from a number of different points of view, you can start to use those resources, your own resources, your own brain power, to maximize your potential, to accelerate your progress and to achieve the success you're setting out for. Now, you're doing this not just strictly out of the goodness of your heart. You want to make a living. But I'm looking at this for the first time. I'm saying to myself, I wonder if this is any good. Can I, like, get a freebie to try out? Well, absolutely, you know. I mean, this is about empowering free thought. So who am I to hold back this way of thinking from anybody? If you want to experience it, and by all means do experience it, then just um, enter your name and email address below. You kind of know the protocol. Go through to the other side. My automatic systems will pick it up and you'll be sent an email inviting you to participate in the process. So, yes, a little bit of pre-training just to make sure that everybody's up to speed. Um, I mean, I'm sure, you know, well, you know yourself, you kind of embraced it without needing to worry too much. So it's not that difficult. And in fact, that's the beauty of it. It works as well with children as it does with older people, as it does to generate business ideas or to solve passionate personal problems so yes you know try it out for yourself by all means now the freebie offer comes with a time limit where the links are only up for so long i wanted to point that out but honestly i did the entire weather forecast without celia's help and that's what i just showed you um the it's an irresistible deal if i was you go ahead and fill in the name and email she's going to send you a link uh, and, and makes it very good. Now, who shouldn't? And in, in, in a previous conversation, you told me, and I really like the answer, who shouldn't try this? Well, I mean, the people that shouldn't do it are the people that are, you know, kind of holding themselves back in the first place, the people that enjoy argument and conflict and all the rest of it, because in actual fact, the system's been designed to overcome that. It's been designed to help you collaborate and communicate more creatively so that you can act more constructively and make greater progress. I mean, the only people that aren't going to actually do it right now are those that procrastinate. And I should add at this stage that procrastination it actually costs you more than recovering from the wrong decision does. As soon as you're procrastinating, you're consuming your resources, you're wasting time worrying, you're getting yourself, you know, demotivated in the process. Take action, see if this works for you or not, learn a new skill, broaden your horizons, clear that vision by gaining that focus that actually comes out from using this weather forecast way of working. And learn how to really maximize the use of your brain. I can't recommend it enough. And certainly the feedback I've been getting from people is just confirming this to me. So I'm delighted to hear how you get on. Now, you told me about somebody, and I'm really anxious to hear. This international person took the weather forecast and was impressed. And, and there was also some local testimonials. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Oh, sure. I mean, the testimonials are so wide ranging. I've had a 13 year old lad who was perhaps venturing down the wrong path in, in life actually turn his situation around completely and go up a math set, having suddenly realized what was important to him in his life. I've had the CEO of the United Nations Association tell me that this was by far the best tool he'd ever used, how he actually used it to overcome his inherent fears and how wonderful to hear that people in these positions actually have inherent fears so he'd use it to overcome that and generate new ideas and he found it very enlightening in the process the uh, the original founder of myspace 
he called me up to tell me that he was buzzing with ideas, having come up, um, having done the weather forecast way of working. And, uh, you know, just yesterday I sat down with a lady who's starting this business. She's doing very well. She's building it up. She's got some great ideas in terms of vision for the future. But just by looking at her operations, by spending 20 minutes using this tool, we were able to actually restructure her strategy to probably save her about £25,000 in terms of development and that sort of thing and accelerate the rate at which her revenue returns to her. So really it was an incredibly powerful use of 20 minutes of her time. So I can't urge people enough just to experiment using this way of working and then to perhaps understand how actually you can embrace it to use it within a creative culture of an organization to um, yeah, stimulate sales and greater growth. So I'm not going to name a particular company that basically uses a little bit of this to become hmm, the largest company in the world. You figure out who it is, but they have a, a, a weather forecast like uh, behavior because I just listened to the book from there as well. I am going to urge you uh, uh, to to you watching because I'm pretending like I was you for this entire interview to please fill in uh, your name and email address uh, so Celia can send you this. I know what your motive is to really be asked to come back and make a speech at that corporation, spend a day with that corporation, hopefully uh, give a copy of this forecast to every employee in that corporation and watch what we can do collectively together. Uh, I'm going to give you the parting words, but go ahead and make sure you urge them that the last thing they should do is put their name and email address below so you can send them the free uh, copy. Yeah, and I'll just add to that that they've shown time and time again that companies that come from that culture of conflict and competition, and my word, you know, as managers, as leaders, we strive to create those cultures of creativity, but the majority of time, in fact, 90% of the time, companies are actually operating from that position of conflict where employees are kind of trying to climb over each other to climb up the hierarchical ladder and it withholding information to put themselves in positions of power and politics and all of that kind of thing that emerge in so many of these corporate cultures. Well, actually, that expresses a high volatility in terms of sales. And it's been shown time and time again that innovation really is what generates this accelerated high growth curve that you know sees companies go from an acorn to an oak seemingly in an instant. So I really urge people just to think more creatively and embrace innovation, whether they use the weather forecast tool or not. It really is the way forward. It's the way we're going to resolve some of the problems that surround us and get us out of this mess and start building a better future. So please join me and forecast yourself a finer future using this weather forecast tool. Thank you. Thank you for being on the TV show, How, By the way, uh, Celia Gates uh, uh, is the anchor of her own channel on tvshowhow.com forward slash Celia Gates. You could learn much more. But for right now, go ahead and put your name and email address below and uh, she'll, she'll introduce you to an incredible process the, uh, of brainstorming. Do it now.